Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today, we are going to attempt a simple but amazing challenge. A challenge that will motivate you to do some out-of-the-box thinking. We will attempt to change the direction of free-flowing water. Now, we all know, as the story goes in Greek mythology, Hercules diverted two rivers as part of his fifth labor. So basically, today's challenge is a Herculean task, <laughs> pun intended. We are obviously not going to challenge you to divert a river or even a stream today. Uh, but we will attempt to divert or change the direction of the water flowing freely from a tap on your own will and that's the challenge for today so without further ado let's get started as usual let's have a look at what you will have at your disposal to attempt this challenge. So the first thing you need is a water source from which water can flow freely. So basically a tap. The next thing you need is a comb. Uh, you know that everyday comb you use to comb your hair. So I happen to have a comb with me and we'll use this for our experiment. And the third thing you need is something made from wool. Lucky for us, because this is winter, so finding wool is not difficult. Chances are, you might be wearing something made of wool, just like me. My sweater is woolen. So, we have the comb, the woolen sweater. To find a tap, let's move out to the park nearby. Uh, there must be a tap or two there. So here's our park, children's park basically, and yes, we have a tap right there. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, we found two taps here. Okay, so let's attempt to divert the flow of water from uh, this tap right here. Uh, where the water flows downward in the direction of gravity. Okay, it's playing tricks. <laughs> so, uh, but this is not that steady. Okay, we have something here. Alright. Let's uh, fine-tune it a bit more. Okay, so we have a water stream right here. That's great. Now, all you need to do is to rub the comb with the sweater. And now, let's bring our comb near the stream of water. I hope we can get it. Okay, can you see? I can see it very clearly, actually. I don't know if I can, if the charge will last that long. Yes, can you see that? Despite the wind, the flow of water is diverted. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yes. Okay. So 
we did it. Now let's attempt the same experiment with this drinking water hose. Actually, I can see, but I don't know if I can show it on camera. So the water actually gets attracted to the comb. And yes, that accomplishes our challenge. We uh, successfully attempted the Herculean challenge of diverting water. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so that was amazing. But at the same time, very simple. We used what we call in physics a charge. Interestingly, a water molecule that is H2O is nothing but a compound made by two positively charged hydrogen atoms and one negatively charged oxygen atom. So the two positive hydrogens and one negative oxygen combine together cancelling each other's powers and the resulting molecule water i.e. H2O is neutral. Now in physics we call a positively charged atom or a negatively charged atom as ion. So you have positive ions and negative ions. But in water, they combine together and the resulting molecule, H2O, water, is neutral. When you rub the, uh, the comb with wool, you actually transfer the negative charge from the wool to the comb. So the comb becomes negatively charged. So this negatively charged comb attracts the neutral stream of water. So the water molecules get attracted to the comb, hence changing the direction of the flow. Actually, even your hair has charge. So uh, if you comb your hair, your comb becomes negatively charged. So this is the comb. I'll just run the comb through my hair. And this comb has become negatively charged. Now this negative charge is powerful enough to actually lift a page off of a notebook or a tissue paper. Let me show you. So here's the comb and I'm gonna comb my hair like so. Okay, I think that's enough comb. Wow, I look much better. <laughs> Now let's uh, go down and this is a tissue paper right here so I will just expose it and you can see that can you see that it actually gets attracted yes. so that's amazing I haven't used any uh, what do you say any other things any glue or nothing it's just the power of the charge so let's give it a bit of uh, extra charge so it can lift this thing now okay this time we're gonna try yes you can see that it gets attracted so uh, the charge in your hair is enough to lift the tissue paper off of the table isn't that amazing table. now in physics a negative charge is called an electron you might have heard this word a lot so basically an electron is nothing but a negative charge and you used electrons to change the flow of the running water and uh, lift the tissue paper off isn't that amazing so so that was today's video thank you for watching and as always please like subscribe comment and spread this video as much as possible and as always i will see you in the next one bye bye